ready start mr speaker i rise to move that the annual financial statement of the tamil nadu electricity board laid on the table of the house be taken up for consideration as required under the electricity supply act the tamil nadu electricity board submitted these financial statements to government for approval these statements are open to discussion in the state legislature but are not subject to vote the board will of course take into consideration any comments made on the statement in the state legislature a statement indicating the action taken on the comments made during the discussions last year has been circulated to the honorable members separately i hope they have gone through it the tamil nadu electricity board is the biggest public sector undertaking in the state with about 1 lakh employees on rolls it has been a pioneer organization in the field of power and power development over the past many years the progress of the state to a large extent depends on the growth and performance of the electricity board and the useful services it renders in tamil nadu the demand for power has gradually been increasing and it is more than the power actually available for consumption thanks to the rise in industrial activities and energization of agricultural pump sets the load growth has been very great today 1000 megawatts sorry today tamil nadu has an installed capacity of more than 2000 megawatts the state continues to give top priority to agricultural production the energy consumption in this sector is well over 25% of the total consumption which is the highest in the country the power development in this state has been sustained over the years the pace of progress in the last decade can be seen from the charts circulated to the honorable members it may be seen there from that there has been nearly a two fold increase in installed capacity peak demand energy generation with early three times increase in the number of villages electrified and the pumps connected a tripartite meeting attended by the electricity board chairman workers representatives and the union ministers for energy and labor has suggested a 10 point guideline for associating workers representatives with the operational activities of the power systems in the country these guidelines are under consideration of the board i want to remove the fear in the minds of future consumers frequent power shortage experienced by us is only temporary there need not be any apprehension on the part of the enterprising industrialists to the availability of adequate power for farms and factories the government and the board are taking all steps possible in this regard to meet the ever increasing power demand and improve the power position with the multifarious uses of electricity and the changes that have taken place over the years with the introduction of sorry introduction and adoption of this effective tool we have to plan a more liberal and intelligent use of energy the same has now come to have a second look at our own attitudes and revise them wherever necessary the concept of conservation of energy is gaining public support all over the world it will be in the fitness of things that this new concept is universally accepted and supported by all concerned in the larger interests of the state over which all of us are keen i have enumerated the major task 
before the board and the resources needed for achieving them i trust that this house will offer its recommendations to help the board serve the people much better and with the motto of consumer satisfaction and contented labor friends if you like this audio then please like share and subscribe my channel for my latest audio and video